channel. I am Hannah, your friendly dietitian, and today we are going to answer the most asked questions on Twitter. So, ang mga questions na sasagutin ko ay about sa pag-aalaga sa sarili natin at kung paano ito pananatiliing healthy. Let's start! Okay, so first question, how do you take care of your health or your body? Of course, love yourself. Kasi if you love yourself, gagawin mo yung mga bagay na makakabuti para sa sarili mo like having proper diet, eating foods that will make you healthy, and at the same time, magiging masaya ka pa. Also, you can do exercise, makakatulong din ito to take care of yourself. And if you want to have a healthy and toned body, pwede rin ito. Um, during the pandemic, nauuso sa mga kabataan yung tinatawag na glow up, pwede mo rin itong isama sa mga to-do list mo, and you can also watch videos of Chloe Ting and Emmy Wong. Second question is, can you give tips on how to have a proper nutrition? First is, get enough sleep. Mahalaga na kumpleto tayo sa tulog dahil pwede itong mag-reduce ng physical and mental performance ng isang tao. Nagkakaution ito ng insulin resistance and it also, it can mess up your appetite hormones. And sa mga nagbabalak na maglus ng weight, pa iwasan natin na magpuyat dahil mas tumataas yung risk ng weight gain at obesity. Second, stay hydrated. Drinking a lot of water and staying hydrated helps our body to function properly and optimally. And also, it ensures that our body's blood volume is sufficient. To stay hydrated, ang pinakamagandang way is to drink a lot of water and it is good for our body dahil free it off from sugar, calories, and additives. Third is, eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Importante na kumakain tayo ng madaming fruits and vegetables dahil masustansya ito at nagkakontain ito ng mga vitamins, minerals, prebiotic fibers, and antioxidants na mga katulong sa katawan natin na maging malusog. Nakakatulong din ito to have a lower risk of obesity and other diseases. Fourth is, eat a lot of protein. Eating enough protein is really beneficial to our body as it provides raw materials that our body needs to build tissues and new cells. Protein also helps us to maintain our health and to have a average body weight. Okay, fifth is minimize your sugar intake. Mahalaga na i-control natin yung mga pagkain natin ng mga sugar foods dahil pwede itong mag-cause ng pagiging overweight ng isang tao and obesity na pwedeng mag-lead sa diabetes. Dapat maging maingat tayo sa mga pagkain na kakainin natin at dapat alam natin kung kailan tayo sobra na sa mga kinakain natin na bawal dahil sabi nga nila nakakasama ang sobra. Third question, how do you lose weight in a healthy way? First ay huwag mong gutumin yung sarili mo. It's okay to eat enough food dahil makakatulong ito sa katawan mo para magkaroon ka ng energy at makakuha ka ng mga nutrients na kailangan ng katawan mo. You should eat more healthy foods like fruits, vegetables, and other foods na mataas sa protein and fiber. You can also lessen your carb and sugar intake to cut some of your unhealthy amounts of food in your body. And don't forget to exercise your body regularly to keep it physically fit and active. Okay, last question is, how to stay healthy during the pandemic? Okay, to stay healthy during the pandemic, there are five ways you must do. First is to eat right. Second is to drink enough water. Third is to take vitamins daily. Fourth is to exercise your body. And fifth is to have an rest. Okay, so mahalaga na kumain tayo ng mga pagkain na masasustansya dahil nagbibigay ito ng mga nutrients na magsusuporta sa ating immune system para mas lumakas ito at maging protektado tayo ngayong pandemic. By drinking enough water, it will help our body to function and process more efficiently that is important for our immune system. Okay, importante din na mag-take tayo ng mga vitamins every day, lalo na ngayon time ng pandemic dahil tumutulong ito na mag-boost at sumuporta sa ating immune system na mag-function ng maayos to keep us protected from the virus. Tumutulong din ang pag-exercise sa pag-promote ng blood circulation sa ating katawan na siyang nag-aalaw ng mga components sa ating immune system tulad ng antibodies and white blood cells na lumalaban sa mga foreign bodies 
tulad ng COVID-19 virus. Sleeping supports our immune system at tumutulong yun ito upang bumaba yung risk na infection sa atin ng virus at kung ang isang tao ay sleep deprived, mas mababa yung immune system niya at body's defense system na pwedeng maging dahilan ng pagiging prone sa pagkahawa or pagkakaroon ng virus. And that's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching and sana may natutunan kayo. Again, I am Hana, your friendly dietitian, and stay hydrated, besties!